No to jedziemy. Mamy kolejne przecieki. Skibidi Toilet teraz nam powie I saw Toilet o wszystkim. Także, także słuchajcie, to będzie bardzo interesujący odcinek. Zapraszam Was do oglądania. Odcinek będzie kozacki. Obejrzyjcie od początku do końca. Lecimy z tym. Recently, Boom released a fresh leak for the upcoming episode 71 on the main page of his official... Tak, dostaliśmy kilka dni temu na jego sklepie o zdjęcie z odcinka 71 i do tej pory nie dostaliśmy żadnych informacji już. Wydaje się, że ten odcinek powinien być dzisiaj, co jest ciekawe. Mam nadzieję, że tak będzie, bo ja się nie mogę doczekać. Obiecał nam, że będziemy odcinki dostawać częściej. I wydaje się, że dzisiaj jest to termin na ten odcinek. Store, which means that the episode is going to come out within the next few days, so it's time for us to discuss this leak in details. So today I will analyze this leak for you and find the most interesting details about it. Ciekawe, czy znajdzie tu coś nowego. Jak myślicie? And I will also share my predictions about the upcoming episode with you guys. Mm -hmm. Now get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video Jestem to gotowy. the end because it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> Let's go. First of all, I'd like to address the fact that in Boom's store, this leak has been named as Skibidi Toilet 71 okay, without referring to part one. So that means that the next episode will probably consist of just one part, which seems really unusual to me because we haven't seen non-parted episodes for a while as the quality of the series was raised rapidly. Also, no pewnie nie będzie teraz podziału na części, więc mam nadzieję, że dzięki temu będziemy mieli więcej części te odcinki będą wychodzić. When this leak we didn't see the shots from the laboratory from the secret scene added by Boom in the full version of episode 70. Although I said how I find it to be really plausible that the next episode might start inside of this facility. And yet again it seems to be apparent that we're going to set off in the same location from episode 66 and 68. But let's talk about this step by step. Może te, ten odcinek 71 skoncentruje się na tym, że będą oczyszczać e, te wszystkie rejony ze Skibidi Toilet, które zostały, nie? I just want to add tak though, that Boom's leaks can trick us pretty often and show us just a glimpse of what's going to be in the next episode. Although it may not in fact necessarily characterize it. For example, when we got the leaks for the first part of episode 70, in one of them we were shown the cameraman with the blue flamethrower. And in the actual episode, the opening scene with him lasted for a few seconds only. And the rest of the episode was in fact dedicated to Titans and the POV with the plasma mini... Okej, okay, zgadzam się tu z ISO Toilet. Boom lubi tak robić, że daje nam scenki, które tak naprawdę są nieznaczące nic, jeżeli chodzi o przecieki, a potem wychodzi zupełnie coś innego, nie? Done. So it may be also possible that today's leak will not fully represent the next episode and that we might start off somewhere in the old territory, but then relocate to the cameraman's scientific lab as I predicted earlier. But that's just my guess at this point. Now let's analyze the leak itself. I've already said that the location we see on it is pretty much the same location we keep returning to since episode 66. And the only thing that seems to be changed is the daytime, because before that, we saw it only in dusk hours. Ah, no właśnie, ja to przeoczyłem. Rzeczywiście tu jest dzień. A wtedy był jakby to, o nie, no, wtedy się walki toczyły raczej jak był taki mrok, nie? And now I would like to continue with the figure of the cameraman pictured on it. He's been dressed in the same coat we saw on the Alliance's agents since their latest major upgrade with the protective earphones on his head camera. And of course he also has two rolls of toilet paper attached to his right side. From the first part of episode 70, we know that those innocent looking paper rolls are in fact hand grenades. And by the way, I predicted them to be like that even before the 70th episode release. So I hope Ja też dobrze przypuszczałem, że to jest są granaty, nie? Ten papier toaletowy. That some other predictions of mine will also come out to be true. In his right hand, this cameraman holds the very same weapon that the POV from the first part of episode 70 had been holding, which is red plasmic minigun. A pretty dangerous weapon, and it makes me confused a bit how this Chad is holding it just with one of his hands. As easily as if this huge thing was just a tiny lady's gun or something like that. Although, wait, does he even have a hand? No właśnie, tutaj nie widać ręki u, u tego kamery. Może być tak, że to jest jakoś zintegrowane z nim. Or is there just a weapon simply glued to his body? Hey Boom, what are you cooking? Did you forget to add this one detail to the leak? Or maybe this cameraman is some sort of cyborg. And this gun is just an extension of his arm as... No, cyborga już widzieliśmy, cyborga naukowca. 
Poza tym widzieliśmy też kamery, które nie miały rąk i nie miały nóg, więc być może potem podłączyli broń do, tej, do nich, nie? If he was Titan cameraman or something. Who loves switching the weapons on his right hand recently? Oh well, never mind. What has also caught my attention in this leak is this little device thing no właśnie, that is being attached jest... to the rock on Wejście the right side jakieś. of the screen. What is it? And why was it placed here? And by whom? I don't really have the answers for any of those questions, but I can guess one thing. What if this device is a code lock that opens the door to the Skibidi bunker facility, and that maybe with the usage of it, either the Titans or the big TV man with the Alliance's soldiers managed to get inside? No, może to jest dalsza część, jak oni oczyszczają te wszystkie bazy ze Skibidi Toilet, nie? So it seems to be quite possible to me that this cameraman is a member of another squad. Whose goal may be to terminate G-Man this time. I pewnie wtedy też pojawią się astro toalety, które zniszczą te kamery. Coś takiego. Perhaps as Skibidi scientist is no more. Although there is another version of what it might be, because it also looks like a bomb, which would be capable of blowing up the entire thing. But I can't see much sense in it actually, because what would this squad try to make explode? No właśnie, to raczej chyba, że podkładają ładunki wybuchowe w całej bazie, żeby wysadzić tą bazę Skibidi Toilet z laboratorium. Main boss of the Skibidi army lies in shambles already, and the only important enemy which is left is G-Man. But is he really worthy of all those efforts? Or maybe this camera... Tutaj się nie zgodzę, bo w tej bazie Skibidi Toilet zostało jeszcze bardzo dużo toalet, nie? Man wants to blow up the Skibidi base. Chyba, że G-Man uciekły z G-Manem, nie? So all its secrets would be buried underground for nobody to reach. But who knows, guys? So now let's talk of what can possibly be happening in the next episode. In the beginning of this video, I've already said how episode 71 will more likely be consisting of just one part instead of multiple ones. Which means that it won't be that complicated or filled with epicness to the brim. I'm still expecting the upcoming episode to be more chill and plot oriented, as I said in my previous predictions video. Because honestly, guys, I got really tired of all the action at this point, and I bet that boom is a bit tired as well. Although... Zgadzam się z tym. Za dużo jest tej, było tej akcji. Teraz mam nadzieję, że ten, te odcinki będą nieco spokojniejsze i bardziej nastawione na takie na fabułę. Well, this guy keeps to be pretty unpredictable at times, so I wouldn't be surprised either if he would add some spice sauce in the next episode as well. The Alliance still has the G-Man problem to solve, as this guy is still somewhere in the wilds, and he's definitely cooking something as well, in case you have already forgot about his secret tablet scene, where he was being shown communicating with some Skibidi welders from episode 68. We should certainly face him one time, because we can't just forget about him as if he was a non-essential character, but I really doubt we'll see him in episode 71. Because as I said earlier, I would be happy for this episode to be focused more on the Alliance's laboratory instead, where we... No nic, zobaczymy, co się tu wydarzy. Mam nadzieję, że będzie, będzie du... akcji może nie dużo, ale żebyśmy poznali jeszcze parę takich, wiecie, szczególików fajnych. A teraz sprawdzimy sobie trochę waszych teorii. Także poczytam parę te teorii. Mamy tutaj Kloka Brod. Mam teorię. W całej serii Skibidi to jednie widzieliśmy bazy Speakermenów. Możliwe, że ten guzik to wejście do bazy Speakermenów. O! To jest ciekawe spostrzeżenie. Spostrzeżenie. Tak, tak, tak. Być może rzeczywiście, że zobaczymy kiedyś tą bazę. Tylko, że oni byli bardziej w tej krainie, wiecie, tej, tej w, w Wielkiej Brytanii bardziej te speakery były poukrywane. Ale kto wie, ciekawa teoria, podoba mi się. E, Sigma. Ok. Czemu głośnik na miniaturce? No, zazwyczaj tak, tak losowo czasami się dają te, te miniaturki, tak? Ja korzystam z miniaturki od osób, które oglądam. Bo mi pozwalają na to. Brod, mam jeszcze jeden, jedną teorię, bo w 34 odcinku jest coś przez naukowiec gadał z agentem. Przez, jest to coś przez, co naukowiec gadał. No był taki panel i ten sam panel zobaczycie we wnętrzu tego e, naukowca, robota, który był też w tym finałowym odcinku. I ten panel taki sam jest właśnie w środku do sterowania. Także ciekawe to jest, nie? Zobaczymy co się wydarzy.